What's going on bros and girls, today I'll be doing an unboxing and overview of the just released brand spanking new G502 Proteus Core tunable gaming mouse. This is a really customizable mouse combining the world's first 12,000 dpi sensor with the ability to tune the mouse to your gaming surface and tune the weight and balance. This is from their G-Series line that was introduced just over a year ago and I actually took a look at three of their other products last year, the G400S, the G430, and G19S, all of which I was extremely impressed with and are still going strong. I did full unboxings and reviews for all of them and if you want to see those vids, just click the annotations or the links in the description. And for current pricing and availability for all these Logitech products I've covered, I've included some links for you down below. Also, I'll be doing a full review of this G502 in uh, about a week or two after I get a good feel of it, so definitely stay tuned for that. So for a quick tour around the box, on the front you have a picture of the product with a bit of an extra view and showing the mouse pooping out the weight system. The G branding is at the top, and along the bottom you have the model name and number. And all of Logitech's gaming gear begins with a G, obviously. And the front cover opens up showing the entire front of the mouse for your viewing pleasure, and the other side shows some info about the Delta Zero sensor and its surface tuning capabilities. Below that is a pretty sweet wireframe side profile, and if you're not a fan of science, you lose! Right side has all the main tech specs, including its redonkulously high 12,000 dpi sensor, and its durability of 20 million clicks and 250 kilometers, which is high enough to outlast some humans. It's also in French, and on the left side you got what's in the box, which we'll all see later, and it shows a compatibility which is basically any relatively modern computer with a USB port. The top you have more of the same stuff as well as a hang tag, and on the bottom you have some info on Logitech, as well as the warranty which is 3 years. Finally on the back you can pause the video and read it for yourself if you'd like, but it just shows some of the main features in greater detail, including its multitude ESC 11 buttons and controls, the tunable sensor, and the customizable weight and balance adjustment. This side shows the proper placement of the weight system, and on the last bit on the bottom here, it just shows some additional features, like the dual mode scroll wheel. So onto the unboxing, there's just two tape seals over here that you just take your pointy tool and stick it into, and after that you just tuck the hang tag in and spread the flaps wide open. Pulling the inner tray out, the first thing you see is the documentation, first of which is a user guide. This just tells you how to install the weights, which I'll show you later, and since this doesn't come with an installation CD, you simply download the drivers off the Logitech site, which I think is the best way anyway since it ensures the drivers and the software is up to date. The second piece is your safety and warranty info. Next is the mouse itself, and after undoing the cable tie, threading the cord through the back, and taking the weight pack out, you now have the G502 in its full unbox glory. So one of the main features of this mouse is the weight customization, and the weights come in this snazzy container which contains five chevron shaped pieces. Each one is 3.6 grams for a total weight increase of up to 18 grams for all you hulk sized powerlifters. Back to the mouse itself, it's a new design that strays away from Logitech's classic MX518 and G400 mouse shape, but it's definitely not a bad thing. It fits well in the hand and now includes a convenient thumb rest so your thumbs won't be dragging all over the mouse pad. It has a dual mode scroll wheel where you can choose to either have click to click precision or a super fast Clark Kent speed scrolling. And I also want to make note that the scroll wheel has scroll left and scroll right controls and also acts as a middle click. You can lock it into either mode using the button behind it, and the button behind that is your profile switcher. By default, aside from your main right and left clicks, you also have your DPI up and down buttons to the right of that, the profile and DPI status light beside that, underneath that is your back and forward thumb triggers, and finally at the front of those is your DPI shift for sniper shots. The surface has a soft touch finish all along the top and rubberized grips on the sides. On the bottom you see many ultra low friction feet, three big ones at the bottom, top, and thumb, and three smaller ones towards the center. At the very center is your tunable Delta Zero sensor. Moving up to the cord, it has very robust strain reliefs, and the cord itself is also of a durable heavy duty feel. It's thicker than the cords of other mice I've ever used, and this should help prevent any fraying or snapping. It includes a convenient cable management tie that keeps any slack tied up, and finally at the end you have your USB plug. So I just want to show you guys how to load the weights. It's pretty easy. You simply lift the back cover off by the thumb edge, and it's magnetized so there's no risk of snapping things up. Once that's off, you can see the many different spots you can place the weights at, and we'll start with putting some at the bottom edge, as right under your palm is where most people would like some additional weight. So you just take a piece, and it fits in really easily into the spot, and it stays in securely. You can fill up those bottom spots, or if you want, you can place some weights to surround the sensor, if you want a more top-heavy feel. After you get your desired weight and balance setting, just throw the lid back on, and you're good to go. 
So just a few first impressions before we go, doing a glide test, the ultra low friction feet definitely feel like they're doing their job. This is just a matte finish IKEA table not meant for sliding a mouse over, and it's still gliding really smoothly. And lastly, the buttons are all in easy reach without having to adjust any of my grip or hand position. So I hope you guys all enjoyed my unboxing and overview of the Logitech G502 Proteus Core Tunable Gaming Mouse. Keep an eye out for my full review of this mouse where I will put it through its paces and also show you its Logitech gaming software where you can further tune the mouse to your specific gaming surface. I'm also thinking of comparing this mouse to all my other gaming mice and if you want to see that just let me know. And if you were interested in G502, the links in the description definitely have some of the best prices. Also, let me know in the comments what gaming mouse or mice you have and what you think of this one. And if you did enjoy this vid, please thumbs up if you liked it, thumbs down if you didn't, and let me know your thoughts in the comments. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and follow me on Instagram and or Twitter. It would be much appreciated. Until next time, YouTube. Peace.